So Call of Duty Warzone Mobile just dropped an absolute bombshell and they have released a soft launch early. So there is the official app, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, on the Play Store. And if you guys are checking it right now on your devices, you're going to see that you can only pre-register to it. Now, what you need to do is you need to connect to an Australia VPN. It looks like the developers have only launched a game in Australia right now, as most betas and soft launches, they usually come out in Australia first, but you can still use a VPN and connect anywhere in the world. So I actually use an app called Shuttle VPN. It's absolutely free and it's got Australia on there and it's proven to work for Warzone Mobile. So all you need to do is download the app, connect to Australia, hit the button. Once you're connected, you go straight back over to the App Store and then on that same page, on that same account, it should show that the game is available to play. If it doesn't and it still shows pre-register, what you're going to need to do is go into your settings on your device, go down to apps, go down to Google Play Store, and then all you need to do is go to storage and clear the cache. That's all you need to do. Reset the Google Play Store app, make sure it's a fresh startup, open up the app and Boom, if you search Warzone Mobile, it should show that it's available to play. Now, if all of that doesn't work for you, there's one last thing you can do. Create yourself a brand new Google Play account and use the same VPN and the same tactics, and it should work, and it should pop up as play. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over, and gaming will never be the same again. Raid is the first game to bring a true console-level experience to your phone. They've set the bar high, and there is no going back. Explore millions of champion combinations, and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. Now I want to show you the top three scariest bosses in the game. Number one, the Tayral Spider, which has tons of minions, which makes it really hard to defeat. Number two, the Kale Clan boss, which pukes out purple acid puke the hell and lastly the scariest one the red dungeon dragon which beams you with its flame now this month is huge for raid they have just released a brand new faction the sylvan watchers with some amazing new champions and if that's not enough raid's got a full lineup of events along with a new season of the forge pass where you can get your hands on some of the most powerful gear the game has ever seen and boys it gets better if you are an amazon prime member you can get your exclusive rewards in raid right now if you haven't tried raid yet then click my link in the description or you can scan my QR code here on screen and you can get unique bonuses worth $30. We are talking a free epic champion, Aina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one experience boost and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get into the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here in the lobby screen so make sure you check out Raid Shadow Legends now. Drop a comment down below if you've got any questions or problems at all and I'll try and help in the comments. And this is what Warzone Mobile looks like loading up so it comes up with the official logo no animations on there yet and then it comes up with this update required screen which is a pretty cool screen i don't really know what that skin is that looks like some sort of i don't know it's probably just the behind but yeah that skin looks sick um and then it comes up with activision and obviously all of their partners and then the next screen what you'll need to do is download and update it's five gigabytes so the app to download on a google play store is only 200 megabytes and then when you get into the game you're going to need to download five gigabytes in order to play the game when it actually releases but when does it so a pop-up uh, pops up on screen that says server status we are still waiting in the pre-game lobby meaning our servers are currently offline as we prepare to launch we appreciate the enthusiasm but please return later after our servers are open on the 11th of what well, the 30th of the 11th at 5 p.m utc now that is actually tomorrow and if you look here i've made a note of all of the times for most of the important regions or most of the biggest regions for mobile gaming to make so make sure you follow this so you can know exactly when the game is coming out and when it's available to play it's kind of crazy that they're dropping the soft launch right now and they're kind of dropping it at the exact same date that season 3.5 in apex mobile comes out Hmm, interesting. But anyway, guys, the soft launch is here. I know it's only in Australia, but a soft launch means that you're going to be able to save all of your data ready for global launch. So everything you do in game right now, make sure you log in. What, well, actually, the first thing you need to do is go onto a Activision, create an Activision account. And with that same Activision account that you play on Modern Warfare 2, PC and console, remember it's cross-progression, so you need that same Activision account on PC and console 
on mobile make sure you log in with that account on the soft launch because when global comes out you're gonna have all of that soft launch data carried over to the global launch and global launch is may in less than six months so it's kind of crazy again the soft launch is coming out now if we take a look back at call of duty mobile the soft launch actually released i believe in march 2018 and then the global version released in october so it's about the same as call of duty mobile and uh yeah, but this soft launch is going to be a lot more hyped towards on mobile. I hope you guys are super excited. I'm super excited as well. I wanted to make this video a bit more raw just to, you know, give you guys some tips on how to download it. Remember, if you are struggling to download it, hit a like, subscribe and drop a comment down below. And I'll be sure to comment myself to help you guys out. So thank you so much for watching and get ready for Warzone Mobile, boys. Let's go. Peace.